sexy for my shoes, too sexy for my shoes, shoes going to leave me. Back from Banaras, my trips with travel and fashion continue as I head to Bangalore. Bangalore and you think Silicon Valley, rows of cafes and pubs, the swankiest airport in the country. Join us this episode as we make you rethink Bangalore. This city is home to some of the most well-known international fashion boutiques as well as some of the most famous and creative names in Indian fashion. You started the brand The Small Shop in the year 1999. Jason joined it in the year 2005. So, how do you think the brand's definition changed from what it was to what it is now? A small shop as a label when it started was much lighter. It was more like about color mix and you know very quick results, but fun and energetic and whatever, and maybe very drape centric. And um, whereas Jason's work, as we know, is much more laborious. But I think our heart is in the same place, in a sense. So you guys are super understated. I'm sure it comes from the fact that you guys live in Bangalore. But many would say you are one of the coolest designers in the country. You know, you have this subtle madness which is there in your clothes, the subtle quirkiness. Where does that come from? I think what's nice about working with this whole label and working together is that we do a lot of. I mean, for me, this is new. So I, I love. I love. This part of it, hand done, and every piece is different. So now Anshu and Jason are going to take us around the store and educate all of us on what, according to them, are the key trends for spring, summer, or nine. Should we go? Right. Yeah. A ganji is always a key trend in summer, but of course it has to be reinvented and made exciting. So how have you reinvented it? Yeah, I think we just thought, uh, like working on our drawings and textiles, and we came across these sort of clone heads. Yeah, it has bits of shibori, some you know machining, yeah. balance. <laughs> yeah. You know, closer you look, you find little little things which hopefully you discover as you wear the piece okay. every now and then, or remove it from your cupboard <laughs> the next summer. Yeah. Also, the fact that it's a little bit of silk on a on a basic melange kanji is you know you can wear it on different occasions. Huh? Like yeah. Yeah, these pants are really interesting. Hmm. So, what would you define them to be? Are they harem? Are they juab? Are they fisherman? Well, they're basically fisherman pants. So is this a trend according to you? Yes. Roomy, airy clothes, and the print on this is also very interesting because it's mm, we call it the painter speed. So you layer the colors underneath, and then you it's a long drawn process, and then you overcolor it. So let's move on to trend number three by Jason and Anshu. Okay. Um, okay, it's a little skirt, of course, not not a long skirt. So a little piece is nice for summer. It's more air, and um, this basically has hand cut flowers. Which have been sandwiched in between two fabrics and then fixed uh, so that it, it doesn't really move. And the skirt again, actually, I think, is emerged from a sleeve shape, really, like a. And then you keep layering those same shapes around till you arrive at a skirt. Two layered skirt. Yeah. Okay. 